What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, just here to give you a quick tip. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about your footwork and how keeping a smooth tempo, uh, more of an up pace tempo can keep you a little bit more consistent, not only with your approach throughout the shot, but as well as your release at the bottom of the swing. So stay tuned. So we've talked a little bit about the approach and your tempo. Uh, you need to have an even smooth tempo, or at least a lot of people need to have an even smooth tempo. So when we talk about uh, how, how quick your feet move to the line or how slow your feet move to the line, as long as your feet are in good cadence, uh, then you'll be in good shape and you'll be able to make a pretty consistent shot each time. What we want to avoid is that cadence where it's like one, two, three, four, five, to where you have a couple slow first couple steps and then quick last three, or you know, vice versa, where you're real quick in the first couple steps and then you slow down near the end. We kind of want to avoid that. But here in these clips, what I want to show you, these are a couple of examples, something I was working on the other day. Uh, it was, I noticed an issue in my own game uh, when I'm bowling bad, I have a really bad deceleration issue uh, where I start to slow my steps down at a certain point, which slows my swing down and makes me grab the ball and it brings my ball speed down. The ball feels like it hangs up a little bit on my hand and my, in my consistency just goes through the floor. I mean, it's just awful. Uh, and then when I actually get my tempo more upbeat and I get through the ball, uh, my swing is more free and continuous and everything just gets through the lane. The ball swings down into the lane and it just gets going through the front part of the lane so much quicker. Um, and it's not really that much more ball speed. It's just cleaner off my hand. It's more on a direct line. So we're able to create the angles that we want to create and not see the ball hook early and not uh, have a little bit of grab and see inconsistency with those speed sensitive shots. Because I'm sure a lot of you have been on some of these patterns to where it seems like you threw two in a row that were good and one hooked immediately and one never hooked. You know, so you start seeing that and it's because of inconsistency with your hand and usually as a tempo thing with your feet. So you'll see that first shot up here where I was a little bit slower. Uh, it was pretty good tempo, but it caused me to grab it just a little bit. It caused a little bit of early hook uh, and it hooked way more to whereas the second shot you watch my feet are just a little bit quicker and it gets into the swing a little bit better and you can see it going straight forward straight back like a pendulum almost uh, and it just flies off my hand and the ball almost you know comes in a little bit lighter than what it did the previous shot so it, it's not a huge dramatic difference but it's enough to where if you're bowling on something tougher it's going to cause issues for you if you don't notice it and have it right away now and this is something that actually comes up uh, quite a bit for most people in the in the beginning of tournaments and I know it happens to me all the time because you get a little bit nervous, you get a little bit antsy, you get a little bit worked up, ready to go. Um, so you're trying to be in control. You're trying to have everything at your fingertips to where you want to be able to throw the ball at whatever speed and whatever you want to do. Um, so you start and you don't even notice it, but you don't even realize that your your tempo has adjusted according to the anxiety and according to your, you know, the way you feel going into that, the beginning of that tournament. So that's why it's so important to keep calm, keep cool, keep collected until you, you know, and get your feet under you. So that way you can be smooth throughout the whole thing and just get right back to the basics of practice to where your tempo your feet, your swing, everything is moving smooth to the line, and then you can make consistent shot after shot after shot. So, uh, like I said, just a quick tip here. Want to make sure some people know to, knew about this. So when you go practice, pay attention to your swing, pay attention to your feet. Um, do one to where you kind of slow everything down, and, and you'll notice it kind of makes you a little bit grabby, and then one where you actually speed everything up with your feet, and then you'll notice it's much freer, and the ball actually comes off your hand a whole lot cleaner when you keep everything moving and good momentum to the lane so hope this helps uh comment below like the page and like the like the video if if this is going to help you uh even if it doesn't help you you know just kind of let me know uh, and comment below see what i can help uh as far as making changes for you but we'll try to do what we can give you as many tips as possible but this was just a quick tip for the day appreciate you guys coming out that's all i got we'll see you guys later take care